Hey everyone, so we got a great matchup here of two phones that are going to be a bit of underdogs. We have the OnePlus 3T and the Huawei P10 Plus. So power on both on. Now guys, by underdogs, I definitely don't mean that in a bad way. Uh, these companies are just not as well known as some of the big companies like Apple and Samsung. But a lot of people would argue the quality is just as good if not better. And you're definitely not overpaying for the phones either. Getting excellent value for them. Uh, an overall excellent performance as well, great battery life. So 3T first on the boot up. And while we up to, both phones, 6GB RAM. And guys, I'm just going to show you a quick preview of this. These phones are both insanely fast. So we're going to do fingerprint scanner first. I mean, how do you even judge that? Look, I mean, both insanely fast. Now, in terms of the animation, it might be 3T here because obviously Huawei is rolling up a little bit there. Or it might just be the camera actually that's. Do you look really closely at it? Yeah, I think it might just. If I turn on the brightness a little bit, if I just put it like over here, for example, just show you guys a better look. Actually, let's try it that way. Yeah, so. Clearly here, the fingerprint scanner on both is incredibly fast. You guys let me know if you think one is faster, but personally, I think it's a little too close to call. All right, so a quick look at the design of phones. Both phones 5.5 inch screens, high resolution on a 3T, or rather high resolution on a Huawei, 540 pixels per inch, 3T is 401. Front facing camera on the Huawei is 8 megapixels, on a 3T it's 16. Look at the bottom, so USB C on both and headphone jacks. Look at the side. Look at the top. And the other side. So I think the only real thing these phones are missing is waterproofing, but aside from that, cover all the basics, including stuff like the headphone jack just mentioned. And the look at the back, so very, uh, very nice designs on both. And on a 3T of one camera, 60 megapixels on the Huawei of two, uh, 20 and 12. All right, guys, let's get started. So first up, we got a game. We got Temper on two. And I do think this uh, 3T screen does get a little bit brighter. Give you guys a better look at this game. So yeah, it looks like the screen a little bit brighter there on 3T. All right, so this first one looks like it's gonna to go to Huawei by about half a second or so. Both phones, six gigabytes of RAM, extremely rare for a phone to have that much. All right, MEC News next. All right, so you guys saw there, Huawei. I funny. All right, so 3T there. You do? All right, so that one going to the 3T. Pretty split test so far, calculator clock. These ones should be basically identical. eBay next. All right, so 3T there. Next up, we got Asphalt 8. So, second game here. All right, so this one going to the Huawei. Yes, yeah, so far, extremely competitive matchup. Photos next. Wow, extremely close, let me know in the comments. ESPN. And after this, we do a more plan as usual. Sorry guys, butchered that one. Let's try closing out and going back in. So yeah, we're gonna do multitasking camera speed. Uh, already did the fingerprint scanner, of course. ESPN.
new setup guys is temporary here uh but we know anything in the comments i think that one was the huawei all right one more settings and then into the benchmark all right so higher score here on the one plus 3t 162,000 151 on the huawei so yeah, both 6 of RAM, extremely rare. Um, and then on the 3T, you have the Snapdragon 21. And the Huawei, you have the custom Huawei chipset, 960. All right, let's do camera speed next. So a little bit higher resolution here, uh, higher megapixels on the Huawei. And let me just get this back. All right, so snap some pictures. And it will eventually have a camera comparison on the channel. I think I was missing the Huawei button a couple times there. It's a little bit smaller. But obviously extremely split. I mean, I, I don't think you can really make a judgment from this. Sometimes one wins, sometimes the other does. So yeah, I think very split for that. Again, fingerprint scanner, let's just do it real quick one last time. And this can put down the brightness again, the Huawei. Um, just so you guys can see that. Maybe the 3T a tiny, tiny, tiny bit faster. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's really too close to call, but let me know. Yeah, in terms of all the phones I own, I really think these are number one and two. Not just in terms of placement, but in terms of speed. All right, next up. We're gonna do more tests in a minute, but first let's go over more of the specs. Oh, actually, for, almost forgot. Very important was the Chrome. Just gonna go to a few sites here. What's the IGN first? Just thinking the video felt a little shorter than usual. All right, so you see while we pretty easily win this one. Let's do ABC next. All right, so this one going to 3T. Let's do NBC. NBC.com. All right, so 3T there. Let's do Zelda. All right, so while we're here, so, so far 2 2 is the one last one was the Yahoo. So we got the tiebreaker right here, yahoo.com. All right, so while we win that one, actually, we'll do one final one. Let's do IMDb. All right, so again, Huawei there. Um, so yeah, gonna give the uh, gonna give the web browser to the Huawei. As he's still going up here on 3D. All right, so we are gonna do some multis in a second. Hey guys, I'm still getting used to that triple button there at the bottom. Access three different things back home in our recent apps. All right. Oh, and actually, let me put these, are these currently on max brightness? Yeah, I put them back. Okay. All right, guys, so, again, both 5.5 inch screens, high resolution on the, uh, on the Huawei, 540 pixels per inch, 401 on 3T. On 3T, both cameras, 60 megapixels, both front and rear. On Huawei, front is eight, 
Um, on Huawei, we're facing a 20 and 12. In terms of internal storage, uh, 64, 128 gigabytes in both. Now on 3T, you do not have micro SD card support. On Huawei, you do. Battery, X1 on both, 340 capacity on 3T. Uh, 3750 on the P10 Plus. Again, both 6 GB of RAM, you got the Snapdragon 21 on the 3T and the custom chipset 960 on the Huawei. And that mostly covers it, so let's get to it. Starting off here with Temper on 2. See, I think overall so far, oh wow, okay, so this is interesting. So this definitely going through Huawei right here. You see, it's not reloading it on a 3T it is. Now the Huawei, definitely one of the better multitasking phones. I don't know if I'd say it's the best, but it's definitely up there. It looks like 3T getting stuck on the screen there. All right. Next up, we got iFunny. All right, so this one going to the 3T. NBC News. Sorry guys, butchered that. Uh, let's do, what's the eBay? Pretty close on both, let me know what you think. As fault eight, so our second game. All right, so I think a slight edge there for the Huawei, although neither phone voted, so pretty impressive. And it's sorry, guys. Bear with me one second. All right. I mean, when you're holding the phone, it's much easier to do it, but when you have it on the table like this, it's a little bit awkward. I guess usually you're not actually going to be doing it like this. All right, ESPN next. I think pretty close. And let's do just a couple more, and then we'll give my final thoughts. Photos. Again, pretty close. I think so far the multitasking has been pretty close. And one, actually we'll do two more with the camera. I think that was Edge of 3T and one final one. We are going to do Chrome. So you guys, my final thoughts on this. Um, I think this was an incredibly close test. I think maybe a little bit too close to call. You guys let me know anything in the comments though. I think insanely fast for both. Now the 3T is a little bit cheaper. Um, of course with the Huawei you do have some advantages. Uh, I'd argue that the design is a little bit nicer, but of course that's subject uh, subjective. And then you gain that second cam on the back. And then also micro SD card support on the Huawei. Um, but the 3T again, a few hundred dollars cheaper for extremely similar results here. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more, and you can do it by clicking right there. Or you can watch another video by clicking right there. Again, guys, you got two excellent phones here. Just comes down to preference, um, but I think you can't go wrong either way. All right, guys, thanks again for watching.